Warning, this podcast may change the way you think about business, entrepreneurship, and money forever. The Conquistador Podcast was created for dreamers, entrepreneurs, and leaders who want to conquer their future. future, future. To be an epic entrepreneur, you must adopt the right mental paradigms as well as master the art of selling, marketing, and finance. Now, it's time to welcome two serial entrepreneurs, leaders, husbands, and fathers who are passionate about sharing the strategies that are helping them excel in life and in business. Here are Mauricio Garcia and Hubert Humphrey. So, what are the components of a great business plan, if you're wondering? So, in today's podcast, we will cover that with my friend, my partner, the great Hubert Humphrey, who is with us today. Hubert, how are you today, sir? I'm doing great. Great to be here on the podcast talking to great entrepreneurs. Thanks. Awesome. Well, you know, that's probably one question that a lot of people have is, you know, what if I'm going to build this great uh, business, what are the ingredients? What are these components that a great business must have? And coming from somebody that is built not one, not two, but is building even a third uh, company in, in the billions uh, probably have a certain recipe and certain uh, components that he put into into this plan. So I want to talk about that today for all of those um, you know dreamers and entrepreneurs and people out there that are that are looking to go in business or who are in business and maybe uh, having that question. Well, uh, that's that's a critical thing. You know, I I remember back when I was just still looking for something and working on a job and looking to try to find some way i could fulfill my, my entrepreneurial dreams because i wanted to be somebody i wanted to be in business for myself i wanted to do all those things it sounded so romantic but i never could find a way and then also when i finally did find the opportunity i was i was faced with the things that uh, same things that most everybody's always faced with is what do you do next and how do you set goals and as you know most of the people who set goals well, first of all, most people in, in, in life never set goals. They just go aimlessly from birth to, to death, just taking whatever life uh, takes them with no real goals. And then the, 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 the small percentage that do set goals, uh, they, they, they don't develop a proper game plan. They don't, uh, they don't have a strategy to implement the plan. They don't have the, the determination and the energy and the fire and passion to, 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 to accomplish it. And so they end up it was a useless exercise that, that, that deflates them. So I learned a long time ago that, because I did, I went through a lot of that myself. So I understand clearly how that is because I, I, New Year's resolutions and all that stuff, that's wonderful. But I said, I, I, what I did, I, I remember one time years and years and years ago, I read in Thinking Grow Rich, which, which many of the people in the audience have probably read that book. But there was a, in, in the original copy, I don't know, I don't know in the latest copy what page it is, there was a page called page 36 it was in the original one it said six ways to turn your desires into gold and it was napoleon hill giving you the prototype for the fur for the most perfect way to set a plan he, he had interviewed for years and years for, for a couple of decades he had interviewed all the great leaders of that era and great leaders of the past and found all the common denominators he put it in that book think and grow rich and one of those things was that they all had a had a, had a simplified common denominator how they set up a plan and in, in that in that page it, it talked about those six things and and uh and, and, and i'll just like to throw them out there and then we can kind of come back and discuss them a little bit right yeah. here but but the, but but and so what we've used that as a, as a prototype in our business I, i'd rather imitate than create I, i'm not a, i don't care about creating I, we're paid to imitate not create we're paid to copy exactly and do that sort of thing too many people are trying to create things all the time, and, and, they're, never, and they're not copying something that could get them onto their success. And uh, the, but the first step, the first step that you had to do is you had to develop an, a, 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 what I call a CC uh, MP, a clear, concise mental picture. You had to have an exact. The word "exact" is very important here. You had to have an exact, clear picture uh, in your mind of what it is that you wanted to obtain. What 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 do you want to accomplish? Whether it's an amount of money, or whether it's a, a car, a thing, or the size of a business, or, or, or a lifestyle, whatever it is, it's like this coat I've got on. If I wanted to buy this coat, it's going to have a price tag, it, you know, you, you, all that kind of stuff. So you got to know exactly what it is you want. And 
And then uh, the second thing, real quickly, is you've got to determine the price. It's that price tag I was going to talk about. You got to know exactly what you want. You got to know exactly how much is, is, is the price tag. If you were if you're going to buy a car, there's a sticker on the window back there. And what does that sticker do? It, it tells you what price. If we if we wanted to buy a, a, a computer, there's a price. Everything's got a price in life, and you got to know exactly what it is. And and are you willing to pay that? And then number three is you got to have a a definite date because you have all this with if it's not the definiteness of time damming up time you got to have so you got to have a you got to have a, a very definite date there and then of course number four it's probably the most important of the six steps it says uh, it says if you once you create that definite plan with all that stuff in it then you got to begin it once whether you are ready or not i remember i used to when i moved out to denver and just really started exploding our business out there many years ago a lot of new people would come into the business and various leaders would bring their new their new prospects in or their new uh, recruits in and, and we would go over different things and and, uh, and and some of them would say well i would challenge them a little bit are you ready to go are you ready to, are you ready to get started they said well i, I i'd like to I'd like, i'll have to wait till next week or, or or it's going to be a couple of weeks i said are you telling me you're not you're not ready that's right i'm not ready right now but i will be soon so i would pull out this book and I would read number four to him. I says, success right here in this book. It says, it says you've got to begin at once, whether you are ready or not, to put this plan in action. So if, if you say you're not ready yet, that means you're qualified. And of course, number five and six, are, are you, you've got to, you've got to take it. You've got to, you've got to write it out. It's got to be, it's got to be a written or typed out in clear language. With all these components in it, where, where it becomes something you can pick up and, and read. And then number six is the. It's a repetitious reading of it over and over. We'll come back to that with a few other things. But those are the six steps, uh, Mauricio, and we can jump into those. Yeah, let, 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 let's jump in them. Hopefully uh, everybody's writing them down because it is, like you said, if it's in the Think and Grow Rich book, obviously what I know is that is, uh, it, it, is a, it is the secrets of the most successful uh, business people in that time and maybe these are timeless principles for sure. You've been applying these, this way of thinking over the past 40 years to build uh, uh, great companies. And I've, I've always was curious about what is that thought process? Of how, how are these highly achievers thinking? And so, you know, these six things are part of that. So clear picture in your mind. I know um, we had an episode in the last uh, few days to talk about how great builders first visualize and how they, you know, they create this plan. How do we go about, you know, obviously creating that, 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 that clear picture? Um, I've always, at least that was my experience, and I said it many, many different times when I went on to entrepreneurship, it was out of desperation more than anything. I didn't really have a clear, clear picture in my mind. I just, need, I just knew that uh, I didn't want to be working uh, eight to 10 hours doing repetitive work, assembling cell phone batteries. And so I needed a way out of that. I just, my, I guess my, my clear picture was I want to be out of here and I want to kind of uh, um, be able to dictate my, my, you know, like what I'm going to do in my day. And it was, I want to be able, I want to kind of uh, 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 make the, the time they take control of time in a way. Well, what that's a great goal, but that's a that's a that seems to me that was a, a very clear that was born of desperation, and I know how you feel. I wanted to escape the railroad, so that, but that that was that was first order of business. Before I was thinking about anything else, I wanted freedom. I wanted to control my time, just like you're talking about. But there's a price tag on that. What have you got to do in life to be able to? To, 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 to fire your boss, to change your life and be able to go out and, and, and be your own boss and be in business for yourself, and, which yeah. is a wonderful, it's an exciting sounding thing, but it's, it's a very challenging thing. So there's a price for that. The reason why, it's, the reason why you got to have a, 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 such a clear picture, an exact picture, you can't just say, I want lots of money. I want to make lots of money. Uh, I'd like to have a bunch of these. I'd, I'd like to have success. You can't think in... In, 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 the, in unfocused, generalized terms, you've got to be specificity. That's a great new word. Specificity yeah. is what you got to have here to, to focus. Because the more you, the more it's exact, the more it's focused, the more you see, the more your mind can now start to drill in on it. And now you've got a chance to kind of be like a laser focus to, to maybe make it happen. Yeah, I, I've never been able to chase some money. 
lots of money. Uh, I've, I've had to, I've, I've always tried to chase the things you got to do to get the money. Once you, once you set the goal, we got to come to these other things. It, it, which yeah, is plan and, and, and that, that takes us to that point number two. And I think there's a lot to be said on that point. You know, what are you willing to give in return? It's just what I wrote down based on what you said is what are you what are you uh, willing to put in depending on what you want to get out? And I think that when it comes to paying the price, right, it took me a while to understand this is that you're going to pay a price anyways. One thing is that we have that clear picture in your mind of what you want and then you are clear about what are the sacrifices, right? Because I think that's what you're referring to and correct me if I'm wrong. It's like what are you willing to, to give in return? Meaning maybe that now you are, if you were spending time uh, with friends, uh, you know, in the afternoon after work, you're going to have to give that up. If you were spending uh, time watching uh, a series and movies now or whatever, Netflixing or whatever, you've got to give up that. If you weren't used to reading uh, uh, books on the subject you want to master in, now you've got to do that. So there's this, this, this bunch of things that you've got to do with is the price and I think that 95% of the people that don't succeed in business probably aren't willing to pay the price. And that's maybe not, not the only thing, but probably one of the biggest things that uh, uh, costs not being successful in the business. So I wanted to dive deeper into that, maybe use maybe some analogies to help us better understand, you know, what, it, what, it, what, it really, what you really mean and what it is to really pay the price and also understand, help people understand that you're, oh, you're going to pay the price anyway. You just have to choose which price you're going to pay because there's also this price of failure, right? Like not having what you want. That's the price to pay. Not, not, uh, not, yeah, not realizing that dream, that goal that you have. So you, you pay it one way or the other. If you don't want to work out, you don't want to work out to get, you know, have a better physique or something, well, you're going to pay it on the health side. Stuff like that. that, 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 that that's absolutely right. Your, your price, the price, the price for success uh, uh, is you, you're going to you're going to pay it in a positive way by achieving what you want, or you going are you going to pay pay it in a penalty of uh, mental anguish and depression and upset and upset at yourself and all the discomforts because you didn't go do it. You, you, you th that's why you got to make that commitment to go pay it. Time is just you, you're going to pay it in the, you're going to pay it in the form of time, which is currency, uh, or, or or and your effort. Uh, or, or money, uh, and, and and to achieve that money, for example, if it costs you a hundred thousand to go buy something, well then you got to go be willing to go do whatever it takes to make the hundred thousand, then to go get the gold. So there's steps to it, but it's but you got you got to determine, that, are you willing to pay that price? Then you've got to be able to pay it. But you've got to. A lot of people don't even they they, they they'll aimlessly say, I want to, I'd like to have that new car, I'd like to have this, or I'd like to have that, and they haven't really look at the price that it's going to pay and what are they going to be able to do to get it and so so it's just it just comes down to being being specific of, 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 of what what you want to pay and 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 i know one thing uh like you said you, we've got the free agency we get to choose we, we get to choose to make the right choice or the wrong choice the right decision or the wrong decision we get we either going to go and do what it takes to hit the goal and achieve the success, or we are not. And so we can't blame anybody else for it. We can't say, well, if I was, if I lived over there, or if I started then, or if I happened to be like him, or if I had the right bloodline, none of that makes any difference. They just got to go after it. And but it's just, it, it, I don't want to go overcomplicate this. Just get a good start. There's gonna be small goals. There's gonna be big goals and bigger goals. And just start with start with those exact. Price and just get used to being a success shopper. You 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 you're looking for the price tag on on the things you want. And what's the best way for me to get that success? I want to. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I it, I don't also want to uh, complicate the concept, but it is interesting to me that uh, human beings, right? We if they're like realizing that there is a price to pay anyways. It all kind of default to not doing something. Maybe because we don't understand that progress equals pain. And it's, then it's that way. It's like you've got to, paying the price is also going through pain. Because growing is pain. That's just how I understand it. 
like I have kind of have trained my mind to know, am I going through pain? Is this being easy? If it is, it means I'm not paying the price. I mean, to get to that next level, because you're, you're obviously, well, that's right. you want I mean, more. Uh, oh, if, 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 if anything's easy, you, you, you better, you better stop what you're doing right then because you're doing the wrong thing. You, you're not going to be making progress. You're not going to be achieving any goal. You're not moving up the ladder toward, toward your success. You can't do it. And it's also like leadership. If you happen to be, if, if, if you happen to be going down the road and there's, there's just thousands and thousands of people is on that same road that you're on. You've chosen the wrong road. There's no saying. You got to choose the road. You know, there was a, there was a. I'm, I'm paraphrasing a, a great poem. A poem about a great poet who said, "I came to the road and I, I chose the road less traveled by, and I'm all the better for it." And, uh, and so we've got to choose the road less traveled by. So if if it's too easy, or there's a whole bunch of people doing what you're doing, you know, both of those things are a good sign you're in the you're in the wrong direction. Well put, well put. Well, number three is obviously set a date, um, and that, you know, seems seems like a very easy. Um, so why is it so important to, 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 to set a specific date? Well, this is, first of all, if, if, you, if you don't have a, if you don't, if you don't know, if you don't know what time you're supposed to be there, well, you may never be there. Uh, you, you, you've got to, you've got to have a, a definite time. It's, the thing I learned about time a long time ago was time is like a river. You can you can get into a river and just get in a little rowboat with no paddles, a little canoe, and just lean back, look at the sky, and the river will float you somewhere. It may you may not like where it floats you. Uh, it's going to take you right down the river, uh, and, and 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 it's it, and, and it's, it's a lot of fish. You do you do a lot of things in a river, but one of the things you can do in a river that's powerful. Is if you learn how to, if 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 you if you dam up a river, like the Hoover Dam or the Colorado River, you light up Las Vegas, you light up half of half of California, uh, because of damming up water. And that's what that's what happens. Your time, the time, the, the time that we've got in life, we all got 24 hours a day, the same amount of time. And the people that learn how to dam it up against the deadline, with with with, a, with an exactness, a clear picture, definite price. And a totally focused, definite deadline it creates the urgency and intensity that you've got to have to 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 build. It's an extra energy force. T -t time time da damned up. That's why calendars were invented. People who use calendars or, or use uh, all this new modern equipment we've got today that, that that helps you keep up with your time. Just just be. It's like Benjamin Franklin. I think I probably made said this quote on a, another earlier show. Benjamin Franklin, one of the great founding fathers of, the, of this country, he said, be very careful what you do with time because it is the stuff that life is made of. That's, and, uh, that's profound. It, yeah. That's what we got to do. That's good because, you know, obviously in speaking about time, setting goals, it happened to me many times where I, maybe just, just my nature, I think that I maybe are too very good at certain things, and sometimes I just I don't I don't I don't I don't achieve the thing at that time. But it's, we shouldn't look at it as this motivating thing. It's just you know, course correct because things don't come out like you maybe put it on paper. Sometimes things on paper look good, and your timelines based on what you can do. Sometimes you beat the timelines, and most of the times, at least for me, maybe you know I don't, I haven't achieved certain things. You know. Uh, but I think it happens to any, you know, any anybody who's attempting to do something big. At least you start, and it not necessarily means that you'll get it right on that date. But it's 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 setting up the time. It's what you, you try to do everything to make it happen at that, yeah, that time, that, right? Well, the part you're talking about there is so critical. We're all human beings. We, hey, we're giving you correct principles. We're telling you correct things. And it would be great if everything, all these great principles we learn. And, and, and try to put in place work every time for every person. No, it, it, it won't. It, we're all we're all we're all a subject to humans. When 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 Heavenly Father created us, wonderful human being, all this great, He put a very sensitive emotional system in there, which means we we're going we're apt to fail a lot. We're going to fail a lot. There's no there's no saying who says it matters. It, it, it matters not if you try and fail and fail and, and, and try and fail again, but it matters much if you try and fail, but fail to try again. You got to keep at it. The Apollo 11, which landed on the moon in the 60s, 
they were off course 90% of the time. They failed 90% of the time. They were lost in space, but they kept making constant course corrections. Yeah. And that's what we've got to do. Constant course corrections, a lot of times, means we've got to go and, 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 and reset the time. Reset the time. You know, I don't care if you're trying to start a meeting. Sometimes you're going to start a meeting, you might have a technical difficulty. Well, we've got to reestablish a new time. Or whatever it is, there's nothing wrong with changing the time, but as long as you've got the time, and don't just casually say, well, I've got, I don't feel so good today. Well, I got, I, I need to go play golf today, and I'll, I'll just reset my time for tomorrow. When you start doing that, you, you're getting into the, the lazy mode, and the, 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 the you're not going right, to Right, but there's this fine line also between saying, well, you know, I've got time, I'll just readjust and readjust, and because you can readjust, you, you really never get to it. So it's just make that dif differentiation. As far as respecting it, right, but just being open to make those adjustments, because that could be one, misinterpreted. One thing, Mauricio, that I would venture to say a large percentage of this audience out there are the Generation X and Generation uh, Ys out there, some Generation Zs. Now we got we got the we got the others up there. We've got the, some of the baby boomers and the seniors and all that look at, looking here, because we're all kind of represented by me and you on this show, a big spectrum here. But 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 but. There's no saying that why is time wasted on the young? Well, a lot of the young people today are a little more urgent than maybe the generations were before. They, they've seen enough conditions. They've gone sour on a bunch of things. They want an opportunity quicker. I would tell the young people to act as nothing. I, we used to have a saying we weren't going to recruit any young singles because all they knew was young singles, and they probably didn't want to buy insurance or financial services, and they would only recruit young people, and they were off with with general things that were not focused on business. Well, I, I found out that we could, we, could, we could go through enough numbers. We found a lot of young people. I remember Monty Holm one time, we told, I told Monty Holm, I said, he, he was 21 and single. I said, there's nothing wrong with being 21 and single as long as you act like you're 42 and married. Can you do that today? And he started acting that way, and guess what? He built an empire in his 20s. And uh, because he, 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 he didn't waste time, the tendency to waste time is when you feel like you've got a lot of time. It, 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 I can recover. I can recover. I'm, I'm 25. Right. I'll, then when you're 35, I've, I've still got 20. Don't don't think that way. Just, just plenty and load your life, and then let let that compounding of life. Oh man, just let it. Uh, it's just like money. The, the quicker you put a bunch of money in there, the man with the most doubles. You know the rule of 72. The man with the most doubles is going to win the game with money. So. Time. Don't, don't waste time. Yeah, that, that, that that's very powerful, understanding uh, the game of compounding. And the, the biggest fertilizer is time, really. So the sooner you take advantage of it, the better. And so number four is uh, creating that, that plan uh, to carry out. I think like any architect, right, you've got to have a clear plan. We even, uh, if you didn't listen to uh, one of our previous podcasts, just go there. And there's a lot that is was said about you know, how to think like a builder when when we're uh, building a business. And I think a lot of it here kind of goes back to in this point number four, which is create a plan to carry out, which I think you mean by be specific, you know, as to what are the steps you're going to take to get there. But you'll yeah. notice it says you must begin at once, whether you're ready or once. Once you've got that plan, once you've got steps one, two, and three written, you know, kind of down, you can't wait till it gets perfect. What's, there's, there's another great business principle that says that an imperfect plan violently executed right now, immediately, is much more powerful than a perfect plan that's delayed or never implemented. You so know, guys, don't yeah. wait for perfection. Whether you're ready or not, just get going. I, I, want, I used to tell my people, we're blasting off this rocket. I, there's still some guys hanging on out there with welding torches, but hey, too late. We're, we're, we're off the launching pad. They'll just have to, they'll have to jump off. We're going to go anyway. So you got to, it's that old story, right? Ready, aim, fire. Well, I built my first business on uh, ready, and uh, was ready, uh, was ready, fire. And then my last business, I said, the heck with all that. It's just fire. You know, so you, you got to, you got to go after it. You can't, you got to start right now. That, that's, Number four is probably the pivotal thing in those six yeah. steps. Yeah, but the underline here, what we need to really bring forward is violently, aggressiveness. You speak a lot about that, and so why would you say? And it's not to get off subject, as we're about to get, we're about to um, go into the final uh, part of the podcast here. But why is it, in your eyes, after seeing millions of people come through, uh, you know, and, and start business? 
that we lack that aggressiveness? What, what is it that why we violently, violently executed? Maybe people could uh, misunderstand the words. Uh, you know, what, what, what do you mean by that? Because I have, I have learned that that is probably one of the most critical things in, in well, going out well, there well, and executing. There's two, two things I'll say on it. One is to describe what violently means. I mean, I don't mean you go violently beat somebody up or anything. I mean, you you got to you got to you got to let the you, you got to break the chains inside of you. You've got the emotional chains. You got to you, you got to think outside the box. You got to let the you got to let that new you in you come out, and you you you, you go take a step. You you got to take some blind. Sometimes it's just blind faith. It's, it's like the old Indiana Jones movie where in that scene where he was. He was out on this cliff, and he said, "Oh, here we go." He just steps right out into space. You know, you remember, I don't know if you remember that movie. He, you just got to do it. He wasn't ready. He didn't have a ladder. He didn't have a parachute. Of course, it was a movie, but just symbolically, you just got to go. You got to go do it, ready or not. And and violently means you just energetically go after it right now. Don't 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 be tentative. Any if, if you start taking tentative steps, if you start if you start, it's like a boxer. If you just sort of throw in little light punches. The other guy's gonna knock your brains out. I mean, you better every time you throw a punch, it better be a, a murderous intention. And you, you know, you, you, you know what I mean. That, that's what you got. Yeah, do. I, 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 you said you know, um, I adopt that. Uh, you know, having that killer instinct. Like, right. a lot of people, when you mention the word ambition or aggressiveness, it's like, I, I feel that you know, based on uh, the facial expressions that sometimes they do when we mention those words, is. They're not getting it. I mean, ambition channeled the right way, it's very powerful. I think that if people weren't ambitious in a good way, we'd still be riding on horses. You know, there'd be no cars, no planes, no no new technology, none of that because there's. Well, a, I don't think I don't think know, we got to worry about our audience. If anybody's if anybody is uh, watching us, they've got ambition. If yeah. they're listening to us on this podcast, they they got ambition. So the, uh, anybody that anybody that's worried about well. Money, that's that's greedy. You can't take it to heaven. You got well, they don't they don't understand the scriptures, they don't understand what's going on in life. Yeah, there's good ambition and there's bad ambition. We all need to we're not here to preach at you on that. But hey, but the one thing I want to go back to this other thing about why so many people are are, are you know, tentative even doing any of these one steps one, two, or three, or they're tentatively and and, and, and are beginning at once or, or violently executed, is because they're in business by themselves. The, one of the great keys uh, that even the Harvard Law uh, a Business School said that if, if you're looking to go into a business, they, they charge they charge thousands and thousands of dollars for this education, and and we already know it. So it, they said you need to find a, a business that's got a it's already got a proven, tested plan that works. Number two, it's got mentors that can help you along the way, and number three, if you can find one where the architect of the system is still in place. You've got the winning combination to be in. Well, that's what we have to have that over here. But most people in business are out trying to do some of these things we're talking about by themselves, and so they don't have somebody to coach them, or mentor them, or, or, or remind them, or give them the courage to go and keep them going. And when you're out there by yourself, it's hard to be a self-starter. There, there are you know, we, we, you, you know, one of your themes sometimes is that self-made. Well. I, I, I believe in self-made because you got to you got to find to take responsibility of your own actions. Actions, but all of my success in life is it, 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 it began where I, I, I said I, I made up my mind. That was that was my first self-made thing. I made up my mind, and nothing is more powerful than a made-up mind, as you know. But I I become a I become a system-made person, a team-made person in success. Well, I any, any, I think that if anybody that takes a little bit of time and research, uh, very successful people, they've all had mentors. They've all even they they may say that they're self-made because they made a decision, like you're saying. But they had all these mentors. Everybody from uh, uh, Warren Buffett to 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 Elon Musk uh, of the day, uh, including you, you're always quoting some of your your mentors in the past, you know, and uh, and and the dead people that you talk to. That you look at uh, also as mentors uh, that have taken you to build these, uh, these tremendous organizations. So, so, so great points there. And then finally, we are obviously having a, a clear, uh, concise statement. I think a lot of us in the beginning will understand the power of that, of re of repeating that in in our mind and kind of breaking through limited beliefs. And uh, 
do you still do those things? You know, like, oh, yeah. have a, this clear, this clear, concise statement. Like, what am I going to do? Like, and then uh, read it out loud. I tend, I, I tend to open my mouth and just tell people what I'm going to do. And so now I, you know, now that I said it, now I got to go out and do it. Well, well, because, they, you know. well that's a that's a whole nother success principle. If you really want to succeed, you've got to publicly declare your intention and put yourself on the line. And, and that that's an extra force that will drive you. But that's a whole other subject. That's a great point. But hey, here these step before we run out of time, steps five and six are critical to this whole thing. Number five, like you just said, you got to write down a, a, a clear, concise statement that includes all the goals, the, the, all the stuff, steps one, two, and three. You know, that, that, that clear, concise mental picture of what you want to have, the price you're willing to pay, the definite time you want to have it. And then all of a sudden you got to add in there what, what's the strategy? What's, what, what's, what's the strategy by which you're going to do it? How you, what, where are you going to go get the things that's going to be taken? So all that's in there. And once you lay that out, number six becomes the key. you got to be like an actor that's, that's rehearsing for the role of a lifetime. You're going to be on a play on Broadway, and you're going to play the role of, uh, of uh, Hamlet or, or something. I remember the great movie, uh, uh, Patton, the great movie about the great General Patton. And, and George C. Scott, who was a great actor in his own right, he was picked and chosen and offered the role to play Patton. Well, he rehearsed Patton so well. He rehearsed that script. He didn't just read a script. He became General Patton, won an Academy Award. And today, they don't even remember George C. Scott. They just remember he, he was Patton on the screen. It was such a powerful lift. It's, if what you're doing here, you are writing a script for the next phase of your life. And you've got to go rehearse that role to become that new you. You're trying to accomplish these new goals, and it, so that's what you're doing. And you've got to do it with you. You got to do it with the, not just words, not just uh, just just reading it, reading it. You got to put. You got to. It, it says in here. If you look in here, it says that it says that you've got to. Uh, 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 it's important that you observe the following deals that you've got to. See yourself in possession of the of the money, the achievement. Uh, if whatever whatever you actually uh, uh, have, you got to you, you got to you got to somehow go ahead and fast forward yourself into that world and start acting as if you've got it, and, and let the emotions flow through you, and you fantasize and emotionalize it. That takes energy to do that. Only see that's why if you, if you don't have that passion, you probably won't put enough energy, and your goals never get accomplished. But if you'll do this, do what number five and six says with those first three steps, man, you th that's why think and grow rich. If you put this in here, this is what calls great successful people. And they all started out just like you did. They were scared. They didn't know what they were doing. But, but a little bit here, a little bit there, just, just stumble forward, stay confused. You know, it's a, hey, th 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 everybody's always coming up with these gimmicky ways and set goals and plans. This is time tested. It, 100 years from now, it's, it will still be the perfect plan. To do. That's why I've never changed it in all my businesses. That, this is the way to do it. Now, does everybody do it? The, the, the good, the ones that are real serious do. Mm -hmm. Well, this is extremely powerful. I think that this, this particular podcast is one that people have to go back, rewind, and study it. I think it was that good. And I really love how you ended there on point number six, which is you have to become and you're writing it down and you're, you are uh, learning that, uh, that role of, of your life. I don't remember exactly, like I understand what you're saying. I didn't repeat exactly the words, but it's, it's, it's just becoming that new you because you cannot achieve what you're trying to, you cannot become who you're trying to become by being who you currently are. So you got you to gotta play this role. And of course, it helps you by, by reading that script of that new role that you're going to play uh, you know, to, achieve, to achieve everything. So Hubert, let me just remind everybody of our, um, our sponsors before we wrap it up here. And if you are in this 2021 thinking about what you are going to do to be able to go from where you are now financially to where you want to go, uh, you're going to need to uh, uh, learn a new skill. You're going to need to learn a skill that can add value to the people out there, and that value add is going to then come back to you uh, in form of, of payment, in form of cash flow, of income. And so Hegemon Group International is in business of helping people learn a very 
a valuable skill, which just help people understand how money work and solve the most common problems that uh, people have. And so if you want to learn more about that opportunity, go to hgicrusade.com or better yet, go to hgiopportunity.com. There's a full actual presentation about what the opportunity is, where the leadership has been in the past, you know, what, they, what they've done, and what are, they, uh, what are they doing today. And so that is hgiopportunity.com. Listen to what they, uh, their value proposition and make 2021 the best year yet. And also, if you want to participate in an event that is going to be value-packed or packed with value, if you want to, you know, another way, another way to say it, um, go to go to conquerevent.com. There is a virtual event taking place on March 26 and 27, where principles like these and other, uh, uh, you know, business building secrets are going to be shared by business legends. And so if you want to be part of that, I invite you to go right now to conquerevent.com, register for that, and we'll see you there. Hubert, as always, it's a pleasure doing this uh, podcast with you. Uh, have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time. All right, see you. I just want to make sure these guys know they need to, the new you always needs to beat the old you. That's your whole goal in life, to constantly get better. Thanks for that. Take care, everybody.